Rotax drivers for their first heat race being led out by Tyler Chesterton in cart number seven. And although the junior Rotax field has it in my time at Cart Masters, which began back in 2008, we have had full B finals. We've got 17. And 17 very strong drivers with Tyler Chester and Sam Harrison on the front row. Clayton Ravenscroft and Jason Lockwood on row two. Reese Hunter and Bradley Barrett, row three. Ben Burge and Finley Bunce, row four. Henry Stennett and Tommy Foster, row five. Tom Edmonds and Tamer Chohan, row six. Thomas Ward and Taylor Babs, on row seven. Then George Holbrook, Alexander Baker, and William Newnham. For the Sabre Sport team. Rounding out the 17-cart field. There is the 44 of 698 Racing's Sam Harrison. So we just saw Cole Kilner for 698 Racing having a strong run. Now it's the turn of the Rotax department of that team. And at the back of the field, somebody doesn't get going. That is the Dan Holland Racing number 49 of George Holbrook that grinds to a halt, right past the start-finish line, but up at the front, Tyler Chesterton holds on, and there's a move from number 33, that was Reese Hunter, diving at the inside of Sam Harrison and running Sam a little bit wide, Hunter gets third place, Ravenscroft up to second, Chesterton has the lead, in the number seven, Coles Racing Cart, and the top three are clear, then it is the Rightly liveried Persistence Motorsport, number 78 of Jason Lockwood. The only driver, well, there's three drivers in this class doing double duty. Bradley Barrett, who is directly behind Lockwood, is one of them. Oh, Alexander Baker getting a warning flag for his troubles. But Chesterton streaking away at the start. Now, Chesterton doing double duty. Well, he is according to my list. Trying to find out if that is, yeah, that's in uh, Junior X30 as well. Oh, and uh, Ravenscroft there. And there's a fellow KR Sports driver. Reese Hunter having a uh, territorial dispute, dispute, and it has resulted in Tyler Chaston's lead growing to nearly a full second into turn into the second hairpin. Hunter, then Ravenscroft, then... Bradley Barrett in the number 10. Dan Holland racing car, followed by Jason Lockwood, Finley Bunce, and the number 13 of Ben Burgess. And ben Burgess, the uh, teammate to race leader Tyler Chesterton. In that very familiar red, white, and blue Coles racing cart. Cross start finish line, Chesterton underneath. The Litchfield Bridge, seventh in last year's British Championship, Tyler Chesterton, has come close at Cart Masters, but never quite got his hands on the GP plate. Could that change this weekend? Not if Clayton Ravens, Cropbridge, Hunter, and the rest have got anything to do with about it. And Tommy Foster, the British Open champion, moves into eighth place. So Sam Harrison starting in the front row in cart number 44. The 698 racing team is sliding back and he's already in, in danger of falling out of the top 10. Into the Mike Wilson complex. Barrett really now starting to force the issue with Ravenscroft. Or maybe that's why Ravenscroft was trying his luck at a move on Hunter because you could sense Bradley Barrett bearing down on him and it's... Well, Bradley Barrett isn't bearing down anymore. He has borne down and is there. Right perched lovely on Ravenscroft's bumper. And he makes short work of him. As he sets the fastest lap of the race. Pushes Ravenscroft back to fourth. And sets his sights on second place. Number 33, Reese Hunter. And after that initial breakaway, Hunter has stemmed the flow, so to speak. And Chesterton is no longer pulling away. 
The gap remains a stable seven tenths of a second. Six minutes to go. Barrett in third, holding off Ravenscroft. Ravenscroft's going to come back at him. But not fast enough to make the move going into turn number one, the Bruno Ferrari S's. Still 16 of the 17 starters running. We've lost George Holbrook right at the start. The leaders come off the bridge, down the hill. Tommy Foster, the British Open champion, privateer driver, sets a new fastest lap. And Chesterton still keeping everyone at arm's length, but then two, four, six, seven carts now. Back to Tommy Foster have all closed in and they're running nose to tail from second place back to eighth. And then it's Tom Edmonds in ninth, followed by Henry Stennett, Tamer Chohan from Dubai, then Sam Harrison, and the number 11 of Thomas Ward. Taylor Babs. And the rest are next. Chaston begins lap number six. Just over halfway. And a move there. Barrett to the inside. Oh, and Barrett sends Reitz Hunter. Gives him an option. Brake pedal or grass bank. You choose. Hunter chose wisely. Loses a few places, but remains with all four wheels bolted on the right way. And... There's Finley Bunce in the number 58 cart, picking up a place at the expense of the number 78 of Jason Lockwood. And side by side through the Fullerton S's, that is Foster involved, as well as the Coles racing cart of Ben Burgess. Lockwood now sets his sights on... Oh, he sets his sights on Finley Bunce, and Finley Bunce having none of it. And that costs Lockwood's momentum. It forces him wide, coming through the Mike Wilson complex now. Watch what happens to Jason Lockwood. He's defending the inside line. He's lost momentum, and the five or six drivers behind him have just suddenly closed right up, and Lockwood, who was battling with Finley Bunce, now finds himself about 10, 15 cart lengths behind. As Burgess goes side by side with Tom Edmonds. In the 17. There's lots of KR Sport drivers in this race. Just having a quick glance, we've got I've got four drivers in this race from the KR Sport team. But at the moment, it's uh, the one of, well, the Coles have got three. But the only driver at the sharp end at the moment re really is Tyler Chesterton. Bradley Barrett has got Clayton Ravenscroft to deal with. And that is for second place. And slowly but surely, Tyler Chesterton's seven-tenths of a second lead has come down to just half a second. Barrett passes Ravenscroft, or ahead of Ravenscroft now, trying to push on to catch, and it looks like he's going to do it. Ravenscroft sets a very good lap, 59.36, and they have caught Tyler Chesterton. Now, Tyler will be wanting, well, he hasn't got a teammate Near the front, so can he work with Bradley Barrett against the KR Sport carts? I'm not sure if that would enter his head right now because he just wants to get that lead. But Fost, but uh, Chesterton rather will not give it up. Foster, meanwhile, up to seventh. And Ravenscroft has another look at the inside of the number 10 of Brady Barrett and can't quite make the move stick going into the Bruno Ferrari S's. And Ravenscroft now sizing up Barrett for an attack. It's a good run down the hill. Will he look to the inside with 90 seconds to go? No, he won't, but Barrett and Ravenscroft have now caught the race leader, Tyler Chesterton, and Reese Hunter in the second of those pink and purple cosmic livery carts 
isn't far behind in fourth place. The first big gap is back to Finley Bunce in fifth. And then he's got another big gap between Jace, him and Jason Lockwood. As, as I say that, Lockwood and Tommy Foster go off in front of me. And they both lose positions. And that will allow Ben Burgess to move into sixth position. And just though, as Barrett catches Chesterton, Ravenscroft attacks. And it's cost them pretty much any chance of a win because, well, I don't know. They're closing back in, in hand over fist on the banking. They've got 45 seconds to go, so we might get across the line before the clock strikes zero and get an extra lap in. And around the outside goes Ravenscroft to try the undercut now at the second hairpin. Can he get the momentum? He's alongside, is he? No, not quite. And all automatically, that three-cart battle has become a four-cart battle because here comes... And, uh, well, here comes Reese Hunter again. Through the Mike Wilson complex. The clock is about to strike zero. But they just, just get across the line, I believe. Haven't seen the symbol for the last flag, so... Ravenscroft chasing Chesterton. Chester moves back into P2. Now, down towards the final. Well, down towards the first hit for the final time. Oh, and a bit of contact there. Wheel to wheel between Bradley Barrett and that, I think, was Reese Hunter. Ravenscroft has moved into P2. Chesterton's got this race to lose. But it's going to be Hunter or Ravenscroft for P2 and 3. We'll see in the next few moments. Out of the final corner comes the leader. Behind them, these two carts on screen now. Ravenscroft in the 75. We'll hold on to second place. Reese Hunter takes third. Finley Bunce is fourth. And uh, Bradley Barnett. Sorry, Bradley Barrett. Slipping back to fifth position. Head of Tamer Chohan. Good result for Tamer, the uh, Dubai based driver. He finishes in sixth, followed by Tommy Foster, Tom Edmonds, Jason Lockwoods, and Ben Burgess. So that is Junior Rotax. It's OK, Junior. Next. And I'll be back to talk you through it as quickly as I can. <laughs> 